Now, SAT producer General Secretary Dennis George says his dismissal is being blown out of proportion. He says his legal team is taking up the matter. The Federation axed him on Friday, saying he was guilty of serious misconduct. ENCA's Aviwem Tila is following the story for us. He joins us now live. Aviwem, let's talk about George's response to this dismissal. Well, Shahan, uh, simply put, uh, the, the, he, well, basically he's blaming all his woos, his current woos, on white monopoly capital. Those, those were his words, saying that uh, the people that testified against him were white, uh, the presiding officer was white, the attorneys was white. So basically this, uh, what we're seeing playing out now, is basically white monopoly capital not wanting to see um, the success of black businesses and black people, basically. Uh, but if you look closely at what is going on, um, I, I spoke to him also about the 16 million uh, investment uh, into AO, buying those uh, 11 million shares. I asked him, where did you get the money? And he basically said that money was, three, was from three law capital. And if you look at the links there, all of those companies are closely linked uh, with Dr. Iqbal Suve and uh, AO Technology. So uh, I think there's a lot to be scrutinized when it comes, uh, well, if you were to track down the companies, basically. Yeah, so the question is then, where did he actually get the money to buy the shares? Well, they, 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 um, I just mentioned some of it now. He says that he got the money from Three Law Capital. If you look at Three Law Capital, um, it's, it, it's, it, it's closely linked with Dr. I with Sekunjalo Investments, which is, of course, uh, part of Dr. Iqbal's uh, vast range of companies. He said that himself, says that Dr. Iqbal is about um, 200 companies. Uh, but if you look at all the companies that invested, that bought shares into AO technology, you'll find that uh, a, a large uh, number of them uh, do have some sort of link uh, with Dr. Iqbal uh, Suve. What's his next step everywhere? Well, he, he's, going to, he's going to consider his legal options going forward. He did say that uh, he'll be approaching his attorneys and uh, he will consider legal actions going forward. But let's take a listen at what he had to say himself. I did not benefit one adulto cent out of this thing, okay? That is the first thing. Fedusa didn't lose one cent. So, so where is this all of this coming from? If you're saying my hands are clean, I did this at a, around a table with other Fedusa leaders who knew exactly what was happening. It was all above board. Where is this coming from? An, uh, an, uh, an investigating body was hired by Fedusa to investigate, um, investigate you and your actions with regards to the investment into AO. And then on the back of that, you were fired. Where is this coming from? Yes, no, look, I'm consulting with my legal team so that we must decide in terms of taking the process outside to the CCMA. Because this process was not also biased, because look, if a company spent 600,000 rand to appoint a legal firm, it puts a lot of pressure on that firm to come up with a finding that will make Fedusa happy. But when you go to the CCMA, there is no way that that process can be manipulated. Like, I wasn't entitled to call witnesses. The witnesses that we called, they didn't want to come. You know, so the process was totally unfair. All right, Aviwem Tila, thanks so much for that. Appreciate it.